Hey guys, it's me again, Ron Williams, at the Ron Williams YouTube channel, Natural Bodybuilder of the Decade. I've been asked the question several times, so now it lets me know that it's something that people really want to know, and that is, Ron, why shouldn't I do dips for the lower chest? Well, I always say, ask the question, why? Why? Why and is there a better way? Now the dips are actually a dangerous exercise. And many times people use this exercise after they've done other compound movements and the joints, I mean the muscle groups around that joint is fatigued. That makes it more vulnerable to injury. What I want you to do is put yourself in the best environment possible to cause that muscle to grow, to build, and to shape. And when you're doing dips, that's one of those movements that are that's very, very dangerous. Even though you may get some results from dips, the side effects or the negative effects of dips, just not worth it. I'm gonna show you something. When you're doing the dips at the bottom of the rotation or the repetition, the shoulders start to roll forward, forcing that joint out of socket and you're pushing and it hits the lower pec, of course. And it also hits the, a tremendous amount of the tricep. But what it's doing to that shoulder joint, it's wrecking your shoulder joint over and over. There's absolutely a better way. A better way to build your triceps and a better way to build the lower chest. Now we look at the lower chest, we look at how the chest is made. First of all, we always talk about the chest is made in an arc. So whatever movement you do, you want it to be a movement that you can control and that you can work the arc of that chest muscle. It's not this movement that matters most, it's really this movement. It's not the arms, this is tricep and a little bit of shoulder, but when that shoulder rotates forward, it contracts the chest. Now. When the, when the shoulders go back and you push forward ooh, and down, it's working a lot more of the lower pectoral. The best way to do that is with cables. Let me show you what that looks like. What we're gonna do now is a cable cross, but what we're concentrating on is the lower pectoral. No matter what, when the shoulder goes back, it's going to force the whole pectoral to get involved. But because of the finish of the rep, I'm going to be pushing low and down. It's going to force more of the lower pectoral to do most of the work. Let's do it. So you notice, shoulders back and then shoulders forward. And as I'm going forward, pushing down. I'm not pushing straight forward. I'm not pulling up, but I'm going ooh, lower pectoral. So a stretch, ooh, lower pectoral. Do it again. Ooh, watch my shoulders. Opening the chest, expanding. Notice I'm not rolling my shoulders back or letting my elbows go back, forcing the shoulders forward. Ooh, but shoulders back and then squeezing the shoulders forward, 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 contract. Finish that repetition. Boom, that's how you do it, baby. Listen guys, what I want you to get out of this video is this. Dips are not the best exercise for the shoulder joint. Some of you might really, really love dips. You've done them for a long time and you have the weight belt with a lot of weight in the center increasing the pressure. You may have extremely strong triceps and you love that motion, but I wanna keep you safe. Think about that movement. Think about the position you're putting that shoulder joint in and please stop that movement because now if you're younger or whether you're older or not, you can stand that movement for a period of time, but eventually the damage that you're doing, it's gonna, it's gonna uh, present itself to you and it may be irreparable. So stop now while you can. If you like this video, I want you to subscribe and I also want you to share with other people. Cable crossovers, low pec, ooh! Till next time, God bless you.